will make you graph slowly once, and this is it. Okay. If you remember how it's going to go, we're going to start with our x's over here. <coughs> we're going to put our equation in the middle. Not you said which one you're saying? I can't remember that dude. Two x minus three. And then over here, we're going to put our point x y. If you say to yourself, and I don't mean to be honest, but I want to say it. Mr. Salazar, I'm going to have a tough time on this task. You're thinking back right now. My answer to you is make sure you can own the graphs. If you do well in the graphs, you do well in the test. Graphs are always the biggest part of any test. This is probably eight marks this question. Right? So do a good job labeling it. Do a good job on the work. And it'll be fine on your test. Okay, so what will happen to people? Hopefully not. But what they do is they'll just leave it blank and then zero. That's usually a mark. But I mean, it's paid loses marks right away. So there's going to be two marks, two graphs on the test. <coughs> okay, so what do we do here with the, what do we do here next? What do I do with this? This is a while since we've done this. Okay. Yeah, on the left hand side we have to do negative three, negative two, negative one. Remember this is the very first thing we did this whole year. If you remember. So we're just going back a little bit. But I apologize, you're sitting in the front row so I'm going to pick on you. Do you remember how to get started on this one? Yes. Oh, really? Cassie, you want to get started on this one? Go ahead. Um, I can put it. Y equals 2x bracket negative 3. Yep. And then negative 3 again. Very good. Remember for this equation, what we're doing is everywhere you see an x in this equation at the top, you're putting in whatever this number is. Okay, so you can fill in the entire chart. Jacob, we're picking on you. What's the x one down going to be? y equals 2 bracket minus negative 2 bracket um, negative, or minus 3. Good. And that's all I mean. You can fill in the whole chart in 10 seconds. Courtney, I haven't picked on you in a while. What's the negative 1 going to be then? Yep. Okay. And you can just fill in the whole chart. I'll do the rest. I'll read it out. The next is going to be y equals 2 times 0. Minus 3, then y equals 2 times 1, minus 3, y equals 2, minus 3, and y equals 2 times 3, minus 3. Okay, is this hopefully looking familiar to people? I hope. With someone in the back of your brain? Okay, now it's calculator time. 2 times negative 3, I think, is negative 6. And then negative 6 minus 3, I hope, is negative 9. Right, so we just plug in the counter. Right? 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then negative 6, negative 3 is negative 9. If you need to use your calculator, feel free. That's why you have a calculator. And Jude, I don't know if you're so nice like this, but um, you've got to get your own calculator for more if you don't have one already. But I don't have the mode on test day. You can't use your iPod or anything like that. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, Lisa, I'm picking on you. 2 times negative 2 is equal to? Two times negative, negative 4, good. <coughs> what is negative 4 minus 3? <coughs> no. Oh, negative 7. Negative 7. Okay. Now for how? Well, oh. Um, now, the reason, what's the slope of this equation? Riley, he's talking about What's the slope of this equation? Okay, it's fine. What's the slope? Okay, I'll put it with this. Just based on this y equals mx plus b, what's the slope of this equation? 2 over 1. 2 over 1. So all that means is for our points, they're just going to apply 2 each. Right? So plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Okay. Um, then we're going to get here negative 2, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus 3, which would be negative 5. Um, this is going to be 2 minus 3 is negative 1. <coughs> this is going to be 6 minus 3 is 24. This is 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. 
this is 4 minus 3, which is 1. And there's my chart. Okay. Are we okay on where all that came from? Please ask. If not, I hate to say it. Do this. Well, no, I don't hate to say it. This is going to be on your test tomorrow. Yeah? Okay. We're all good on where most of the stuff came from, just half at a time. So then we're alright. Sorry, I apologize. I shouldn't my line of vision here always. Okay, as far as the x and the y points then, all we're gonna do is your x comes from the x column and your y comes from whatever this is. So the first one's just gonna be negative three and negative nine. Just what I, you won't hear from me anyway, this is due tomorrow, right? So I'm going to go through a half the questions in class and give you guys some time to work on the rest of the <coughs> on your test. Um, I'm giving you marks for nothing because, like, you'll have a 50, you know what I mean, just by copying on what we did in class, right? If you hand it in, you get a 50. Okay, then we're going to continue on. Negative 1 and negative 5. Uh, 0 and negative 3. Uh, one and negative one, two and one, three and three. I'm going to pause it right there and give you a minute to scribble. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is here, I lost all that work and that's okay. I'm just going to write the points here. I think I have them in memory. Actually, I don't. What was it, 0 and negative 3? These are what the points ended up being if I think here. Now, when you are doing your graph uh, on tomorrow, I am probably going to be mean and make it so weird that there's not enough, it looks like there's not enough room on your graph. If it looks like I can't get to the minus 9, what should I do? This is important. If I get my y values, and it, I, like let's say I had a y value like negative 15, how do I get that on here? Yes. What do you mean? Oh, well, so you say I do something like this? No, that's the wrong answer. Okay, what would I do if I had something like a point like that that I want to put on there? What would I do? Honestly, I'm going to... Yeah, we well, can make the graph bigger or change the scale. So that instead of counting this as 1, count this as 2. So I count by 2, then we square count this 2. Okay, or 10 or 1,000 or whatever. Okay. Now, as far as things that we need you, do the master graph this fast. Tell me something to use this graph. Numbers. Numbers would be good. I got it only got up to three, so I'm gonna count like this. Zero, one, two, three for my axis. One, two, three, four. I got to negative nine, right? One, two, three, four. And count by two is not four. Axis. Thank you. So on this side, we're going to count x axis, y axis. Now please remember, I'm going to give you marks for all this stuff, right? On your graph. What else do I need, John? Tell me something else to my graph, please. Uh, arrows. arrows would be good. Okay. Title would be excellent. Um, title would probably be graph of uh, two x minus three. Um, now, when you guys are doing this yourself, probably you're going to put both graphs on the same line, right? So what you can do is you can label each line separately. So I'm going to do my points. Zero and negative three is going to be right here. Uh, we're going to go one and negative one. Two and positive one. Three and three. Negative one and negative five. 
negative 2 and negative 7. And negative 2 and negative 9. Okay. How can I tell looking at that that I've done a good job? It's a straight line, right? And what's going to happen to one of you tomorrow? I'm just psychic. I'm looking into the future. Someone is going to see a graph like this. If you see a graph that looks like that, what do you suggest doing? Because somebody will graph that. What should I do if you get that graph? Start over. No. What point's wrong? So that's a question. Right? Obviously, this point's wrong. So check what happened there. Right? Everything else looks like it's good except for the one point. Okay? So if that happens tomorrow, um, check on check that one point. Okay, last and finally, I've just got to, I have two things left to do. Two things left to do. All oh, goodness. Find arrows. Thank you. I hope I can do a line here. Yeah. Oh, I can't do a line. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is an example of not using a ruler. Don't you have a meter stick or a yard stick? The problem is you can't. The problem is with the smart board, you can only touch at one point. Right? Uh, so if you do a line, you can Well, you can touch it on doing something different. But I should. So I'd lose one mark on this because I didn't use a ruler. You can see that squiggly line, it looks soft. Okay. Well, good. And probably if you're doing two graphs on one, you can just do this. Okay? And then there's your, if you want to graph two graphs, probably something. <coughs> That's sort of okay. Okay, I'm going to give you a second to neaten that up, and then I want to keep going. Do you guys want a little work time, or do I want to keep trucking? Sure. You want some work time? Yeah. I'll, give, I'll just take a break for five minutes, okay? Do your algebra and your other graph, okay? And then I'll uh, come back to uh, 